hello friends uh, today we're going to talk about uh, the uh, you know double click event uh, as we all know in this button let me add event trigger here <coughs> and we can see enter exit down up click but there is no double click event this one so we are going to uh, write a simple script for that it's very simple 10 line script so let's get started okay all you have to do is to go to c sharp script and make uh, double click okay and let let me make a empty game object and let's just reset it okay and uh, let's name it script manager okay so I'm gonna add it here let's open the script you don't have to make a uh, script manager every time you can add, just add it to the button <coughs> but you know for uh, simplicity we can do this so so here we are we don't need these two and uh, all we need is using unity engine dot ui you know for the button dot ui okay and we don't need update here let's and uh, and all we need is public button let's name it button and uh, a listener so private void button listener okay so on the start all we have to do is button dot on click dot add listener and we're gonna pass button listener okay so let's test it pressed let's name it click clicked okay and save it and let's just see okay here we are we're gonna add the button here and let's just play it and uh, let's see here clicked okay so it's working so all we have to do and now everything's working so we are gonna make double click events for this one uh, actually we are not going to make an event system for per se but uh, we are gonna use uh, coroutines for this one coroutines are very useful and very easy to use and uh, you get a good you know a lot of gr great powers like superhero uh, as a developer coroutines are very good I just want to say um, you have to work for this if you don't know about coroutines there are so many tutorials out there but uh, I'm gonna uh, I'm going to talk about a little about coroutines but uh, if you follow this tutorial you will understand how it's work okay so just make your practice with these and uh, they are great to work with okay so just make a private integer let's make it counter <coughs> and we need another but public mm, let's make it float and uh, uh, let's name it Mm. click timer and default value will be half a second okay and uh, first of all the coroutine start with i uh, we need system dot collection for this one using system dot collections let's enumerator and let's name it to double click event 
okay so uh, after start this one all we have to do is uh, just make the counter plus plus and if the counter is equals equals to one then we gonna start the coroutine start the coroutine and all we have to just pass the double click event here don't forget to use i emirator uh, it's the sign of uh, make the coroutines okay instead of void and everything it's it just it just work this way you can write everything anything here but you have to write i emirator here okay so let's just just follow me uh, from here yield return new wait for seconds and uh, we are gonna make click timer and uh, if the counter uh, is greater than one then what we're gonna do is print yeah double double click and uh, then we are going to wait return new you don't have to do this again um, just you know let's just make a small timer for this one and uh, counter is equals to zero and then that's it okay and every time and counter equals to zero here we don't have to do this because the uh, it's gonna make it zero anyway here so what we did here it just whenever we click on the button it's gonna uh, increase the counter by one and if the counter goes to one it's gonna start the coroutine okay uh, then it's gonna <coughs> it's gonna wait for half a second and see if we click again then counter is going to you know make it zero to one and if it's greater than one and then it's gonna say yeah it's a double click but uh, if we don't click again after half a time it's gonna say yeah it's not a double click it's gonna say the counter is zero uh, and uh, uh, the work uh, everything just go in a normal way so let's just save it and test or script okay I'm gonna play this one so let's see I click once so nothing happened I click and after some time I click again nothing happens but if I click in half a second it's a double click yeah it's a double click so uh, if I click and after one second I click again nothing happened but if I click after double click here yeah it's a yeah it's a double click and uh, the good thing is you can reduce the timer here if you want to double click after 0.2 seconds okay or if you want it to be greater after like one second let's see after one second so so it's gonna say double click but if we click after one second nothing happened so it's a great script to work with and coroutines are very useful so uh, my suggestion is just practice with these and these are great okay so thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe